Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technique.com. Today we are going to continue with our course and we are going to be looking at using Kickstart in Linux. All right? Quick one, if you are going to be writing the Irish CSE 8 exam or the SUSE Linux exam or the LFCS exam, you can come to this website. All right? So you can scroll down and click on the um, exam practice question. Right? Um, we're going to be updating this website from time to time with um, a lot of practice questions pertaining to um, each exam. Alright, so it's better you subscribe to this channel or to our newsletter to always get updated. And I'm also going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below. Okay, um, you know, installing one or two Red Hat systems may seem a little bit easier, right? You can just, you know, get the ISO image and you do your clicking and clicking and then you get your system installed all right how about um, installing about 40 to 100 red hat systems are you going to have to do this one after the other all right so you know doing this um, kind of task one after the other is going to be um, onerous so that's why there is kickstart installation in linux in red hat um, to simplify this type of um, task all right and Kickstart in Linux is used to carry out unattended Red Hat system installations in which a user or an administrator does not have to take charge of the installation provided the installation configurations or parameters are defined in the Kickstart file. All right. So with um, a Kickstart file, the Red Hat installation will be automated with the Kickstart file and the Kickstart file will answer the installation questions and this works for both the physical and virtual environment, all right? So let's see how we can create a kickstart file in Linux. So a um, kickstart file can be created in many ways, all right? One, you can use the anaconda file of the already installed Red Hat system. So what do I mean by this? The anaconda file is a file that is automatically created by the anaconda installer during system installation all right so it collects the necessary installation information and creates it as a file after the installation is completed and the anaconda file is found in the home directory of the root user right so when you do ls in the home directory of the root user you're going to see the anaconda file which is anaconda-ks.cfg okay this is the anaconda file that was generated when this system was being installed. So you can use this file as a kickstart file, all right? You can also edit this file to suit your um, kickstart, your, your environment for your kickstart um, installation, all right? So for example, if you look at what we have in this file, you would see that you have the basic information that you use to um, install the system if you were the one that installed the system that you are using you would see the basic information all right that you used while installing your system everything is stated here and if you don't want to use this kickstart file for a kickstart installation you can edit this file okay so for example you can see the time zone here you can see the username you can see the password and, and all of the uh, parameters that you used while installing the system so it's going to be generated by the anaconda program and a an, an, an anaconda file will be generated and you can use this file okay for your kickstart um, file you can also use this file initial setup case the cfg you can edit it to to suit your environment for kickstart installation so another thing you can do is to install one red Hat system as an example of just the way you want to install the other systems or the way you want the other systems to be installed all right and you can then use the anaconda file as your kickstart file all right so um, we're going to look at um, how this anaconda file can be used in the next um, video but before that uh, let's see the other way the kickstart file can be created another way a kickstart file can be created is by using the red hat kickstart generator all right so um the this is a kickstart generator the red hat kickstart generator is a program developed by red hat to simplify the creation of kickstart file all right so it is a very powerful program to help select different 
pro, um, different options and parameters as to which or as to how you want the OS to be installed. Okay, so for example, you can see the basic configuration, the default language, you can input it here, the keyboard, the time zone, all right, um, the use the clock, the password, the um, target architecture, all right. So from basic installation to the partition, to the bootloader, to the packages that you want to install, to the authentication, to the network, to the security, to the display, to the pre-installation scripts and post-installation scripts, all right. So this is what the Kickstart um, generator can do for you, all right. If you want to get the Kickstart generator, I have the link here on the website. So I'm going to be dropping the link to this website in, in the description section below. So you can just click the link here and it will take you to the Kickstart generator. It is a very simple uh, program to use, all right? So in the next video, we're going to see how to um, use Kickstart for automatic installation in Linux, all right? So um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and bye for now.